Somebody asked me how do I charge a uh, an e-bike battery, which is what this is, from a solar panel, which is what this is, but this is a very small solar panel, so it would be a really bad idea to try to charge regularly off a panel this small. What you would want is a 100 watt panel, which you can buy on Amazon for under $150. So just use this as a prop. The battery's dead, so it's a prop too. Okay, the solar panel has to be in the sun. The output from the solar panel comes out in a wire, and we're going to send it to a solar charge controller. This is a fairly fancy one but you don't need anything that fancy. Um, this one has a lot of LEDs that light up. So you go into the solar controller and it will limit the charge into the battery and it will also cut off the charge when the battery is fully charged or trickle charge it. So there are two basic connections into a charge controller. One is the input from the solar panel and the other one is the output to the battery. Okay, so now the battery is hooked up, the solar panel is in the sun, and the controller is turning on the battery. So the battery starts to charge. When you have a fully charged battery, we can start taking power out of the battery, which is what we do with these things. You can hardwire this with little rings that go on these kinds of posts, or you can use these uh, sort of uh, jump start type cables. Okay, so the power coming out of the battery as opposed to the power going into the battery. The power coming out of the battery is going to this, which is called an inverter. It says that right on there. So the inverter takes 12 volts from the battery and converts it to 120 volts. And now we plug your charger for your e-bike into the inverter. And then just as if you plugged it into the wall, you plug your uh, charging cable into your e-bike battery and basically that is the whole thing. Maybe not in uh, five easy lessons but you get the idea. Solar panel, controller, battery, inverter, uh, charge controller or charger, and battery. So there's a battery kind of in two spots here and that's what makes it kind of inefficient to do it this way but this is the simple off-the-shelf way